I'm going to show you one way to do it. There are, <laughs> no pun intended, there are many ways around this circle. So I'm going to show you one of them. And uh, maybe yours looks a little bit different to mine, and that's okay. If yours is different, call me over, I'll have a look, because I just want to make sure, just like here, that your logic is watertight. That what you've got is more than just, I've worked out the answer, but I've shown what the answer is, because those are different, okay? Right, and here's my first path through. I'm going to do a straight substitution, okay? You can see I've got two ways to write W2. I could choose this one, or I could choose this one, okay? I'm going to use the principal argument one again. You don't have to, but you'll see why I use it in a second, okay? Um, so that one there. So that is cos of, etc. I sine, etc. And this is just a straight substitution, so I'm squaring that whole thing. Now, at this point, I have a choice of what to do, right? I can multiply this through, like, like algebraically. That's how I would do it if I were in rectangular form. But because I'm in polar form, I have another choice, right? Rather than, like, multiply this by this and this, and then this by this and this, I can use a theorem I know to help me deal with powers of complex numbers. What theorem is it? I can use De Marvis theorem, right? If you raise a complex number to some power, right? What happens to the modulus of that number? Yeah. It's, always gonna, it's also going to be raised to that power. In this case, the modulus is just 1. Right? Does that make sense? Now, by the way, if you're going to invoke De Marvin's theorem, you've got to invoke the whole thing, right? And so there's the modulus. I know we kind of didn't state it in the first place, but it gets squared too. So don't leave that off. What's the other thing that De Marvin's theorem tells me? Very good. I multiply the angle by that power. Okay, so I'm going to have, uh, let's see here. Cos of negative 4 pi on 3, because I doubled it, plus I sine. Blah, 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 blah. You okay with that? Now, just like Pythagoras' theorem, right? You quoted something, there's a reason. So I'm going to say along the end here by Demarcus theorem. Okay. Now, remember, it's proof. So what am I going to do? You know where we're going, right? You know where we're going. So the one square, that's just going to disappear. The way that I've chosen to prove the next bit is that, do you remember? I don't I hope you guys remember, actually, last year when I came around and like, I came to your year meeting sometimes and I'd say, oh, you know, if you're going to choose two, you know, you're going to choose extension one. You need to know these things, right? One of the things I always single out is trigonometry. Trigonometry is a big deal in two unit and extension one and extension two, right? You just have to know these kinds of properties like, like that because they form an integral part of all of these higher workings, right? I'm going to use another property of the trig functions to get me from here to there, right? That, that's where I'm going, okay? What's the relationship between this angle, this argument, and this one? How are they related to each other? They are one full period apart on the sine and cos curves. Do you agree with that? Because how far is that? What is a full period? It's 2 pi, right? So what I'm going to do is, I don't need to write this anymore, it's just 1. I'm going to say, well, cos of some angle, right, is the same as that angle plus 2 pi, right? Because cosine is periodic, every 2 pi radians, right? You could add 2 pi or 4 pi or 6 pi, whatever you like. It's the same deal with sine. It has the same period, like that. Do you see what I've done? Okay. Um, owing to the fact that cos and sine are periodic functions. Okay. I've made the change. I've said why, and now I just I just evaluate the numbers. Right. This is just going to be two pi on three, and so is this. Now I've got some space, so I'll say. I'll tie it up together in a nice neat bow. Okay, are you happy with that? 